Utica residents were scrambling to get moving trucks filled with their possessions in the pouring rain. Very, very, very hectic. Very hectic. We didn't think it was going to get up this high. That's how Mark Terry describes the race to empty homes and apartments in Utica after the flood crest was revised upward. My neighbor across the street said, y'all need to get going right now. You need to get your stuff packed and you need to get out of here. For these residents, mere inches of water can make a difference. Yeah, I was calling in everybody. I left. I went and got a storage this morning. Um, we went, rode around and tried to find boxes and just whatever we could find to start throwing stuff in. And now we're trying to hurry up and get out of here as quick as we can because the road, it's already coming in on the road now. It wasn't even on the road this morning. Utica may be facing the worst odds, but low-lying areas of Jeffersonville are also bracing for water. We manufacture vibratory equipment. Uh, down there on Riverside next to the Second Street Bridge. And, um, you know, uh, really, these a lot of these guys don't work on Fridays anyway. So, so today was kind of an all-hands-on-deck uh, situation. Friends, family, and neighbors helped each other out. I wanted to help, and I didn't know how to help. So I knew people didn't have time to eat, so I went to McDonald's, and I bought 50 sandwiches. Lee Hazel had to move several classic cars out of a Utica garage that belonged to his uncle. It's a good community. They all pulled together. You know, I got... Friends coming from Jeff, it's already up here helping, and they're just a good community, and everybody pulled together, we, we get through it. Some houses like this one are already underwater, and the crest is yet to come. Every resident that we spoke with says they hope the forecast is wrong this time. In Utica, Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.